Hello to all my friends in Elam Room 228. This is Miss Debbie, and today I'm going to read you a story called Stregononia's Magic Lessons. Story and Pictures by Tommy DePaula. I know we've had a Stregonona story before, and I thought you would enjoy this one. Bambalona, the baker's daughter, was angry. Every day, summer, winter, fall, and spring, she had to get up before the sun to bake the bread. Then, piling the loaves on her head, she went to deliver them. But her work wasn't finished. Rushing back to the bakery, she had to mix the flour and salt and water and yeast and set the dough to rise for tomorrow's bread. Don't forget, her father, the baker, would say, to make the cookies and bake the cakes. And remember, Bambalona, to clean up everything spick and span. I'm going now to see my friends. And off he would go to sit all day in the square of the little town in Calabria. One day, Bambalona said, Papa, there's too much work to do. I need some help. Get up earlier, her father said. But I get up now before the sun, said Bambalona. And I'm the last one in town to get to bed. That's the way things are, her father said, as he went out the door on his way to the square. And don't forget, he called, you have a wedding cake to bake. That did it. Bambalona dusted the flour from her hands and took off her apron. I'm going to change the way things are, she said. I'll go to see Streganonia. She is so wise, she'll help me. I think I know how to help you, Streganonia said, after hearing Bambalona's sad tale. So many people come to me with their troubles, I could certainly use some help. Why not stay with me and I will teach you my magic? Oh, Streganonia, said Bambalona. Thank you. We'll start today, said Streganonia. Now, Big Anthony, who worked around the house and in the garden for Streganonia, was listening. He was always listening to what other people were talking about instead of working. Streganonia, he shouted, running into the house. Me too. Teach me your magic too. Oh, Anthony, Streganonia said with a smile, I can't do that. Why don't you go and milk the goat? Now, Big Anthony was angry. I'll show Streganonia, he said. I'll just go and work for the baker now that Bambalona has left. Down the hill, Big Anthony ran. The baker hired him on the spot. The first thing you must do is mix the dough, the baker said. Put in this much flour, this much salt, this much water, and this much yeast. He looked hard at Big Anthony's smiling face. Do you understand? The yeast makes the dough rise. Now mix it in right away, and by the time I get back at six o'clock, the dough will be ready to make into loaves. See, si, signore, see, si, Big Anthony said. The baker walked out the door and toward the square. I'll just look around at everything first, said Big Anthony, poking around. Cookies! He ate one, then another. Cakes! He ate one, then another. Big Anthony ate them all. In fact, he was still eating when the clock in the square struck four. Mamma mia, said Big Anthony. I forgot to mix the dough. It won't rise in time. Ah, I know. The yeast makes the dough rise. I'll just put in a lot more of that and the dough will rise much faster. I'll still have time for a nap, he said when he got through. He sat down and promptly fell asleep. What a sight the baker saw when he returned. Out, shouted the baker. What's the matter, Big Anthony, Senor, said Senora Rosa. The baker threw me out. Now I'll have no job, he answered, and it's Streganona's fault. I never would have left her house if she had let me learn to be a Strega. 
Silly goose, said Signora, Signora Rosa. Who ever heard of a man being a strega? All of a sudden, Big Anthony's eyes lit up, and off he ran. To cure a headache, you must fill the bowl with water, Stregononia was telling Bamalona. Next, you add a few drops of oil. Then you say these magic words. Knock, knock, knock. Stregononia went to the door. Oh, Stregononia, said a tall girl standing there. All my life I've wanted to learn your magic. Will you teach me, please? Santa Cielo, dear me, said Streganona. What is your name, girl? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, Antonio, said the girl. Why do you want to learn my magic, Antonia? Streganona asked. Oh, so that I can help people, said Antonia. Ever since I was a little girl, I've wanted to become a strega. Ah, in that case, said Streganonia, come right in. This is Bambalona. She is learning my magic, too. Bambalona stared at Antonia and then at Streganonia. How nice, two girls to teach, Streganonia said. She smiled at Bambalona, and then she began. To learn magic and practice it well, she said, you must learn to see and not to see. You must learn to remember and to forget, to be still and to be busy. But most of all, you must be faithful to your work. Do you understand, my dears? See, si, yes, Dragononia, said Bambalona. No, no, said Antonia. When are we going to learn how to do the magic things? In time, said Streganonia. Now let's practice some of the magic words. Repeat in the right order after me. Soon Bambalona said all of them by heart. Antonio, Antonia kept mixing them up. Bambalona learned the cure for headaches. Antonia didn't. Bambalona learned to make love potions. Antonia didn't. Bambalona learned to how to get rid of warts. Antonia didn't. Bambalona, said Streganonia, I think you are ready now to learn more powerful magic. This is a special book. It is very ancient and contains many magic secrets. Tomorrow we will begin with it. Oh, grazie, Streganonia, said Bambalona. Me too, Streganonia, asked Antonia. Not yet, Antonia, said Streganonia. You have other things to learn. That night, while everyone slept, Antonia crept to Streganonia's house. Bambalona thinks she's so smart, said Antonia. I'll just read that book tonight, and tomorrow I'll surprise her and Streganonia. The next morning, Antonia was looking very tired. Antonia, said Streganona, watch and listen. Come, Bambalona, we will start. Wait, wait, said Antonia. I have a surprise. I know some real magic. Watch me turn that iron kettle into a golden one. Are you sure, Antonia, said Streganonia, frowning. Yes, oh yes, said Antonia, beginning to mutter some strange-sounding words. But she stopped. Wait! I remember now. She began again. Be careful, Antonia, warned Bambalona. Magic can't be fooled with. I've got it now, said Antonia. She muttered more and more words. Suddenly there was a bright flash, some smelly smoke, and the iron kettle was still there. But Streganonia wasn't. Instead, where Streganonia had been standing was a nice, fat toad. Now see what you've done, cried Bambalona. Oh, no, shouted Antonia. Oh, help, help, somebody save Streganonia. What have I done? Streganonia warned you to be careful with the magic. Now she is gone forever, Bambalona said. Streganonia wept Antonia. Picking up the toad, forgive me, forgive me, please, Bambalona. You, 
You're so clever. You're so smart. Please change her back again. I can't change that toad into Streganonia, said Bambalona, but I can change Antonia into Big Anthony. Bambalona pulled off Antonia's kerchief, and sure enough, there was Big Anthony. Oh, oh, I'll never learn, howled Big Anthony. I'll never learn. Oh, Streganonia, Streganonia, what have I done to you? Perhaps, said Bambalona, if you really promise to never, ever play with magic again, that will bring Streganonia back. Do you really think it would work, said Big Anthony, sobbing? It's worth a try, said Bambalona. Big Anthony put down the toad. He closed his eyes tight and put his hand over his heart. I promise, I really promise that as long as I live, I will never play with magic again. Just please bring Streganonia back. There was another bright flash, some smelly smoke, and presto, Streganonia was back. Where am I, said Streganonia. Oh, I'm in my little house. Whatever happened to me? Hello, Bambalona, and why, Big Anthony, what are you doing here? Where's sweet Antonia? Tell her, Big Anthony, said Bambalona. Oh, Streganonia, said Big Anthony, falling on his knees. He told Streganonia what he had done. He was so busy crying and talking, he didn't see the nice fat toad hopping past him out the door. And so, Streganonia, please, he said, if you take me back, I promise to be good. I'll do all my chores and never play with magic again. All right, Anthony, said Streganonia, smiling. But before you go back to work, change your clothes. You're wearing Signora Rosa's nicest dress. And that's the end of the story, Streganonia's Magic Lessons, Story and Pictures by Tommy DePaula.